Hi, my name is Al Falastri. I own and operate Suram Arts Dental Lab in Lakeland, Florida. We're a Cranberry only lab, and I want to talk to you today about the new Whitmix Pro Press SP furnace. The SP, of course, standing for Sense Press, meaning that this furnace actually senses the end of press for uh, various pressable ceramic materials. One thing that uh, really impressed me about this furnace right off the bat is the pressing methodology that it uses, which is a little different than other furnaces on the market in that it is air pressure driven, but in a very unique way. The way this furnace works, and, and this has important implications, it charges a cylinder inside the furnace with 72 psi of air pressure, locks that off, so you could even disconnect the air pressure at that point in the pressing, and then it, it runs off of that compressed cylinder. This has certain implications during the press. Probably most noteworthy is that as the press continues, the pressure continuously drops, which means that the highest pressure is at the beginning of the press, and as it gets near the end, where critical things like cracking occur because of the pressure buildup in the ring when the plunger stops, the pressure is actually lower than where it started. On top of that, there is a resistance spring on the plunger that compresses as the press continues. This also reduces the pressure even more, so that the likelihood of getting a crack at the end of press, which is the one that ruins your pressings, is very, very unlikely with this furnace. <coughs> now, another, another interesting thing about this pressing methodology is the speed at which it presses. I've noticed when we press typical rings, uh, one ingot rings with maybe three or four veneers, or even two ingot rings with a number of full molar crowns, the pressing time is uh, usually under one and a half minutes. Uh, rarely does it get to two minutes. And this in itself gives us some nice benefit in the sense that we have very, very little reaction layer which in itself is not a problem, but it makes the cleanup, we have to put them in the acid for less amount of time. It, 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 it increases our speed and our efficiency uh, of getting the units from the press uh, to the laboratory bench. Uh, and the overall press time is also minimized, like I mentioned, which is, which is nice when it comes to production. Now, since press is really important no matter what kind of ceramic you are pressing. Uh, this furnace will obviously press any kind of pressable ceramic from the old Empress, the Lucite reinforced, to the lithium disilicates or Emax type materials. And in the case of Emax, like I mentioned, short pressing times are critical for control of the reaction layer. When it comes to these other porcelains like Empress or other Lucite reinforced type pressable ceramics, the shorter time you can have them in the ring and in the furnace and in the heat, the better the chroma, the better the color control, and the better the value. As these materials are heated for longer periods of time, the chroma goes down, the value goes down, they become more translucent, which translates into gray looking restorations in the mouth. So. <clears throat> Um, it, it, it brings to play some really, really interesting benefits for getting the best possible pressings no matter what pressable ceramic you're using. One thing that this furnace has that I'm not aware of in any other pressable furnace is a feature that allows you to take special steps if you notice that a ring is cracked when you take it out of the furnace to pressing. When you begin the pressing program, it comes up and asks you, do you have a crack? Question mark. If you say yes, to that when you put the ring on the stand to start the press it automatically lowers the pressures to almost half not quite to about uh, to close to half the pressure for the pressing which uh, ensures that you will not expand that crack and you'll still most likely get a successful pressing the only downside to it and the, uh, well, my first question was well why not use lower pressures all the time if you can get a pressing at a lower pressure why not do it and the answer is that it becomes a longer press. You will get more reaction layer, but that's a lot better than having your ring split open and, and lose your pressing. Now, one other uh, really nice design feature of this furnace is in the muffle, which is a high efficiency uh, quartz muffle that's designed for very even heating, which allows really controlled firing of all the layering porcelains as well, no matter what brand or manufacturer. So this furnace not only presses very well, it also fires the layering porcelains either on uh, your zirconia, your Emax, your metal understructures, doesn't matter. Whatever porcelains you fire, this furnace will fire extremely well. Now, that also includes programs for the crystallization of the of the um, the Emax blue blocks, uh, it has the multiple cycles necessary to do that, 
And one of the other really nice features in production mode is this fast cool feature uh, which this furnace has. What it does is it not only pulls vacuum through the muffle after firing during cool down, it also shoots a jet of air up into the muffle from the outside through this jet that you may see back here on the, uh, on the oven which is connected to the exhaust port on your vacuum pump. So one pump is both pulling air through the muffle and forcing a jet of air up into the muffle which cools it down very rapidly so you can start your next firing very quickly. Now of course one thing that you know is, is crucial to uh, implementing the use of this furnace in the lab is the firing programs. And this furnace does come preloaded with all the programs for firing the Emax materials in all the different size rings and all the different materials that are available in Emax. It also comes with a disk that goes into your computer that holds the firing parameters for basically every known portion that's on the market today. And so once you set this up in your laboratory, you can put that disk in your computer, select the portions that you use, you, you simply copy those programs to a thumb drive, pull it out of your computer, stick it right in the side of this furnace, and it uploads those programs into the furnace so you have them effortlessly already in your furnace programmed ready to go. Now, <clears throat> When, when I think about all the features that this furnace brings to the table, it's really pretty amazing when you consider the, the really competitive price that it's sold for. Okay, on top of that, it has a, a really, I think, industry setting warranty of three years, parts and labor, and if should you have any problems with this, Wibmix, of course, has stellar customer service, will always stand behind the furnace, and will provide you with a loaner uh, cost-free should the furnace need to be sent back to the company for service. And one last note I'd like to make that if you happen to have one of the original ProPress 200 furnaces that can be sent back to Wibmix and they can retrofit this furnace with the muffle and all the inner workings to convert it to an SP or sense press furnace. Uh, I'd like to thank you for your time and let me talk about this furnace and take you kind of through some of its features. What I, what I really like about this furnace, and, and I think when it comes to uh, the needs in the laboratory today for today's modern materials, this thing most certainly fits the bill and will give you more than your money's worth in both uh, quality, consistency, predictability, and, and long-term service. Uh, thank you for your time. Again, my name is Al Falastri in Lakeland, Florida.